What's up guys, Dr. Kaplan here, Dr. Werthas with us today. <clears throat> today we're talking about hip pain. So most people have sedentary lives these days. People are sitting at their desks, people are driving, people are kind of bent forward all the time. And a lot of people end up with inflammation and pain in the front of the hip, the hip flexors or the actual hip itself. So today we're gonna to talk about two really quick ways to help yourselves, help us to alleviate some of that hip pain. First one is being a release of the actual hip flexors themselves, which we show on Dr. Huertas. We also have something called a neurovascular, I'm sorry, a neurolymphatic point, which essentially is an area where you get buildup of lactic acid, which comes out of the hip flexors. I'm gonna show you how to release that as well. Dr. Huertas is gonna lay on her back here. You'll find your hip flexors, essentially, uh, if you find your hip bones in the front, the little bones there, just below it. So in her case, right here, you should be able to palpate and find a tender spot. And what we want to do is have her flex her leg up this way. The practitioner is going to put his finger just below the uh, hip bone, pressing on the most tender spot. Then she's going to go through a general range of motion, straighten her legs out, bring it all the way to the ground, bring it back up again, all the way down to the ground. You're going to do this on both sides. You're going to feel the hip flexor underneath you start to stretch a little bit. You're going to feel some adhesions breaking up. You should notice a lot more power a lot more strength, a lot more pliability and flexibility, which is really important. The spot that we're gonna use, the neurolymphatic spot, is actually gonna be your distal four ribs. So if she's gonna put her arms to the side, we come down to the rib cage, the last four ribs, you just take a flat hand and you put it on the side of the ribs this way. I'm gonna show the camera side, you're gonna massage this way. You're gonna do this on the side of the involved hip. Do these two things before you do your next exercise. We've been sitting for a long period of time to give yourself a little bit more power, a little bit more flexibility, and hopefully a better hip. If you have any questions, let us know. Have a good day.